hey, we continue the, with the basketball theme. Now, you've watched one of those basketball games where the last minute takes 10 minutes because of all the timeouts. The coach will call a timeout, gather the team around in a circle, pull out the clipboard, and draw up the play. Now, they've practiced this play a hundred times so that when it comes time to do the play, when it really matters, they can do it with perfection and score the points. Or conversely, they practice the defense and can stop the points. In many ways, a successful team has a playbook and they go by it. The Bible is our playbook and we live by it. Indeed, United Methodists believe what Scripture claims for itself, that all Scripture is inspired and profitable for teaching, correction, and equipping the faithful disciple for good works. We believe that Scripture is inspired by God, and it is faithful for all matters of salvation and guiding us in doctrine. So it's our playbook. And we need each other to work together to interpret Scripture because we know that interpreting Scripture can get contentious and can set the team on edge. So for United Methodists, the first thing we understand about interpreting Scripture is we need Scripture to interpret Scripture. That keeps us from using opinion so that we read into Scripture what we want rather than the scripture reading into us what we need to hear from God. So scripture, reading scripture, helps us understand the message of scripture. And then we use tradition, not the local traditions of the church, but the time-tested traditions of the church interpreting scripture over time so that we don't follow the latest fad or fashion, but we hold up against time-tested, honored understandings of Scripture, things that we see maybe in the Apostles' Creed or in things that have been taught to us in our catechisms or in our confirmation class, things we hold together in common. And of course, Methodists believe in using scripture to interpret scripture and tradition. We also believe in the power God has given us with reason. We use the best scholarly information about history and culture, times we didn't live in to understand what God was saying to a culture 2,500 years ago in a, in a land and a place and a time that we don't live in and can't fully understand. And once that message in that culture is parsed out, we can take that message and take it into our time and hear it in our time and hear what God has to say for us in a time such as this. And of course, scripture, tradition, reason needs experience, not your experience and my experience, but the collective experience of the church, seeing where God is at work now, applying the message of scripture in the world to reconcile the world to God and us joining in that work. See, that's what makes us the team. Where God is at work, we join with God in that work to do the play God is calling, to serve, to love, so that we go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them all things that we have learned from Christ through Scripture, interpreted by Scripture, through tradition, through the best reason, and through the experience of life in the church, doing what Christ has commanded, so that we are formed by Christ, revealed by Scripture, honored by the traditions, informed by reason and experience. That's how we see Scripture as the playbook that guides our lives. 
to live life with Christ. I hope you'll look for the email that's coming that'll unpack this a little bit. Join us for Worship Sunday when this Sunday we, we talk about going fishing with Jonah and going fishing with the disciples and how that call really does speak to how we hear God's Word. Look forward to unpacking more of what it means to be United Methodist Christians. Take care, my friends. Look forward to seeing you again in a short video.